Hey guys, it's Dustin here with another Dutch Boy Adventure. I'm running solo today. Um, had the day to myself. Unfortunately, Big JR had to work. The king got to make his loot for his queen <laughs> and his little serfs. Um, so he had to work today. And uh, I'm just going to beat around here. The one permission we were just at. Uh, he killed it um, the other day. JR, he uh, he absolutely had a fantastic day. Got a lot of large coppers. I don't expect to get that much um, today, other than exercise. So we'll see what goes on. Um, you never know. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm out here running solo, old farm, 17, 1800s, and JR told me where to go, and I'm gonna go there and see how I do. Wish me luck. Just remember, there's another Dutch boy adventure coming at ya. All right, guys. Oh. All right, gang. It's been a tough day of digging so far. Tough morning, I should say. So I got my first thing. I think it's a, yep, there it is. It's a mem. It's a mem. Wah, wah, wah. But it's something. <laughs> Beautiful day out there. Beautiful day. So I hope everyone uh, is having a great Friday. I know I am. Except Jerry didn't leave me anything good here. Punk. We'll see. We'll see. It's a big, 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 big property. Anyways, I got a couple other little things. So let me get them out. Darn coat. So... Yeah, I got some lead, musket ball, piece of something. I think it's a, a bale seal. And then uh, I think that's for, that's either a horse or a cow. Put the reins through it or whatever. So, slow, slow day, I'll say. But I'll take it just to be able to be out here and enjoy the day. And what a lovely day it is. Except the bugs are coming out now. So I'm going to have to go back to the car at some point. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, I got a couple leads today. Uh, I got a bunch of musket balls. It's an old farmhouse. Um, I'm actually just driving up this one trail. I talked to one farmer. He said, yeah, go ahead, do whatever you want. Uh, these guys are nice. I can't wait to give them like a, uh, a little display for their family to keep. There's a lot of history here that uh, I think we need to... Uh, <laughs> Check this out, guys. Should I? But you know what? Before I turn down there, oh, I see that pile of rocks. I am going to turn down there. But I'm going to keep going up this way because they have so much property. I don't even think JR realizes how much property is up here. And this family is salt of the earth. Let me tell you, they are so nice uh, to us, but not you. So don't ask. No, I'm just messing with you. A little <laughs> but there's some real history out here I'm I'm like really impressed with uh, I'm finding stuff now I'm finding the trash but I don't want to show that I found an outhouse <laughs> wow all right we're gonna go up here I don't know if it's hooked up. Oh, look at that old road. Oh, man. And this area, I was told today, was really, really, really had a lot of Native Americans in it. A lot. And there was a, a slaughter. Like, they, the, they killed people. You know, the typical 1700s, you know, Indians doing what they should have did better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. Oh, it's a blind. I think. What do you guys what do you guys think? I think it's a blind. They set up an old outhouse. Oh yeah, it's just a blind. I'm gonna go look at it. Let's go look, guys. We'll look together. Let's go look together. Oh,
Yeah, so that looks to me like definitely a, <laughs> look at that. Look at that old part of a sign. Sen Tech. Uh -huh. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's just an old, old shed. But if you come around here, let's see. Wow. Maybe I'll do up in here in the grass if it's not too hot. Awesome, 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 guys. So, this is truly an adventure. Uh, and I like that my adventures go a little bit past just metal detecting. I know some people, oh, they don't like hearing people talk and shoot footage. And, yeah, if the world was a perfect place, we just put out pictures of finds all day long for the people to look at. But it's not. So, yeah, this is an original road. So I'm gonna have to get home tonight and do some severe, some serious research. Look how sunken it is, guys. Look how sunken it is. That's an old road. Probably a logging road. But I went detecting with a friend once, an old friend. I still consider him a friend but he's a little peculiar, the guy is. But we won't touch on that. But we went down a logging road and he found some silver. Right on the, the road itself. So I think that's really, really, really neat. And I think that's what this is. This is an old logging road. Just keeps going. I wanna do some detecting. Wow, there's some old trees in here too, guys. Some real old trees in here. Maybe I'll walk just a wee bit further. Got my keys in there. I guess the only thing I can steal my Jeep is a deer. So, yeah. That's probably just about a 100-year-old tree. And you can see there were some big-ass trees in here they cut, you know, a long time ago. Yeah, this would all be really good to detect right in here. It really would. Who knows what kind of crap you'll find. I'm getting later in the day for this kind of adventure. It, it, this would be a first thing in the morning type thing for me. You know, when you have all the energy and your juices are flowing, we'll go a little further. So what the one gentleman told me today is that the Indians would come down and follow this creek, this little stream that I, sh I think I sh got it in the clips, but let's see. So that little stream here, which goes, the owner set up this way and just comes out of the ground. Um, the Indians will come down through here on their way, uh, and then another guy told me where their camp was. So their camp was down yonder. So they would come down the hill, come down to the creek, and then they would go down that way, down that way to their camp. And the settlers, settlers, they were all around them. And see, there's an old tree that was cut down. And so, uh, you know, a, a gentleman told me there was a, a, a slaughter actually where the Indians chased the settlers over the, uh, the mountain and then killed them all. Meanwhile, the people in town who could hear the battle and hear the cries were too scared to come out to help. Pretty interesting. So I didn't get as many artifacts today or, you know, big ticket things per se. Well, I got some good stories and uh, a nice piece of history so that hopefully, I mean, there's a huge tree. That's over a hundred year old tree. Well over a hundred year old tree, guaranteed. 
So, and then there's an old one down there. The big burl at the bottom. Look at that root. So, yeah, I, I want to do the creek here and I want to sift. And plus, I want to keep going up this trail and eventually detect it because I know there's going to be good stuff. So, hopefully, I didn't mess you guys up too much. I know I don't have too many finds. I'll show you what I have at the end. But right now, it's only a few musket balls are really the only things in note. But I come over here and I didn't I couldn't tell if they were steps. So I think there's another little path behind here. But getting back to what I was yapping about, I did find some great history, some great news. I hope I guys got I mean I got you guys out in the woods, you know? Got you out in cornfields grass fields, miner's trail. And now we're gonna do some more detecting. And then I'm gonna call it a day and take my uh, beautiful wife out to dinner, which we love to do on Friday nights. So there's a ton of stuff laying around here. Craziness. All right, guys, so I am going to uh, start detecting. And I'll get back to you. All right, guys, I decided to go back to the old uh, schoolhouse barn and just dig wherever Jerry didn't dig. And then I just got this button, which... I have no brush with me and I hate doing this. Let me get right back to you. Ooh, this looks like a nice one. Let me get right back to you guys. Look at the arrows. Look at the arrows. That's going to be a Grand Army of the Republic. You watch. Hold on. Wow, guys. Look at that. And guess what? That is not Civil War because look at the cuff. Look at the shank. I don't have anything to dig it out with and I don't want to hurt it, but so that's not a, uh, maybe it is a two-piecer, but it doesn't look like it, does it? I'll have to see if it's smashed in there. Wow, maybe it is just Civil War period. Wow, look at that gold gilt, guys. Look at that. Ah, that's sick. Oh, I love a button. I am a button man, and this just made my day. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! <laughs> fly, birdie! Fly! All right, I'll get back to you guys. That is just stupendous. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to clean that up and show you guys. Oh! Hmm. Get back to you. I got another little thing here. Let's see if you guys can see it. There it is. Here's another one of my favorite things, harmonica reads. Just to know someone was sitting there playing music. And this is one heading to the schoolhouse. So, you know, it's probably some little kid has harmonica out. Or who knows? Could have been the Union soldier who had that button I found. I, I don't know. I had another guy stop and tell me that Union soldiers were in this area, actually. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just can't believe I, I need to do some research. But that's a nice find, right? All right, I get back to you. I'm starting to find everything as it gets later in the day. I probably have another hour left. So I'm going to stay right where I'm at, hunker down for another half hour, hour, and see what else I can find. All right, look at that view. Beautiful. Hope you guys feel like you're here with me. I really do. All right, get back to ya. So guys, we have all these pastures we haven't even touched yet on the other side of the road. And there's so much Native American. Wow, I love these pastures. There should be good digging in there. And with the Native American history, who knows what we'll be able to find in this area. Wow. 
Wow. What the heck is that? Guys, look at this. Is that the frame to a, a boat? You see that? That's a prop. What the heck? <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, me too. So beautiful, guys. This hobby of ours, this passion, I love it. This place is just awesome. Wow, we are so lucky to have this permission. Oh. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys that there's pastures and how beautiful they are. Even down in here, looks like it might be good. You never know. All right. I'm out of here. See you. All right, guys. Uh, I'm doing my roundup. It's kind of lonely without JR. Uh, and my finds are meager as if JR were here. So, uh, <laughs> what we got today, an old grommet, uh, old uh, pistol or 22 bullet. Uh, we got three musket balls. No, I think they're sexy. An old uh, homestead nail. A uh, piece of harmonica reed, modern coin. Um, I'm starting to think this may have been a pewter button. It really looks like that's what it is. But I'll loop it at home. It's it's not lead. It's it's not as heavy as lead. Uh, we got this uh, piece of uh, horse, rain, whatever. I don't know what this is, guys. I don't know what this is. I'll have to clean it up. I thought at first it might be part of a ring, uh, but, you know, I'll find out. But the main thing I got is this. Oh, boy. So I found something interesting on that. Let me get that out of the... If you turn that over and... Oops, sorry, guys. It was hanging. Someone wore this around their neck. So that little, this little metal piece here, hold on, right here, went into the shank. And it is a two-piece. It's a Civil War. So probably, uh, I would think, either one of the children of a Civil War vet or um, maybe a Civil War vet was on the farm uh, doing farming. But that's a Civil War button with uh, tremendous uh, gold gilt. Look at that. It doesn't do it justice. Like when I'm looking at it, it looks all beautiful and shiny. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is just, that made my day, guys. That's a beauty. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Wow, I'm sure everyone, everyone watching uh, wouldn't mind getting one of those. There you go, post it. All right, guys, so, and gals, um, I'm about done for the day. I don't think I'm detecting any more this weekend. I have, well, it's Friday, so I, I did it today because it's supposed to rain this weekend and I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, just goes to show, place is never cleaned out, even after two semi-professionals, like the King and I came and uh, did a lot of stuff here, but it's never totally cleaned out, never. I'm, I'm just, I'm so stoked, man. <laughs> uh, and. You know, most of the Civil War stuff I get, it isn't, it, it's around the Civil War um, camps and, and uh, battlefields and stuff. Like, I live close to Gettysburg, but have never managed to get a permission there. I sent out one time over 100 
um, letters, you know, and not one person responded just to say no thanks. <laughs> I don't blame them. I really don't. Uh, but yeah, Civil War button. It's great. Okay, um, I need you guys to subscribe. We're going to have a contest. We're going to have a free giveaway uh, coming up once I hit 200 uh, subscriptions on YouTube. On YouTube. So make sure you guys are subscribing on YouTube, liking and commenting. Uh, Jerry and I put a lot of effort into that. Uh, and uh, I, I'm just really, I'm going to give a, a, a shout out to Charles Lombardi, man. Uh, really good guy. Uh, member of Dirt Digging PA and some other groups and uh, he enjoys our videos He's, he can't get out like he'd want to and uh, that's really what we're trying to do for you guys uh, we're not trying to be in here for any other reason but to share our adventures with you so with that said you guys have a blessed weekend do the family thing you only live once and uh, love the one you're with. Boom. Dutch Boy Adventures. See ya.